Hello YouTube, this is the Lone Survivor of Us here, and this is a 2v2 on Italian grassland. The opponents are Tenez and Adam Ma Matti, or whatever his name is, and I am Yosef the Other Lord General, and my ally is Jet Javier. I command the French army, and my ally controls the Holland army, and both the enemies are the Ottoman Empire. This map uh, shows you why hills are so important on such gameplay, and why you should easily be able to defend them from the base. And yeah, we're just going to wait a couple of seconds until the uh, loading screen is finished because who hates them? Everyone. Um, I'm sorry for the bad quality in this video. I'm trying to figure that out. I'm still a noob on the whole recording things. Um, I know that I haven't got much, uh, well, I haven't got much views on my YouTube videos, but I hope that these commentaries will help. Okay, so we're now we're looking at my army loadout. I don't remember what units I have, but I know that I have three howitzers, and those will become hilarious later. I remember me having four units of uh, Swiss foot, and a few units of chasseurs, I think three or four, a few voltigeurs, I think three Chevrolet Galancers, um, a f I think three Swiss, well, three of the Polish foot. Sorry about the bad thing. I'm trying to think of this up as I go along. Um, I have one general staff, but um, I'm not really going to focus on my enemy's armies a lot. I'm going to be figuring that out as I go along. This is just to be a test. Um, but either way, it will be an interesting fight. So I'm going to assault the frontal hill, uh, which is on the map uh, that I just zoomed over there to see my enemy's army. Um, and you can see... <laughs> And you can see there that he has a lot of Nitsam uh, units, so I decided to use my Lego Lancers to rush that hill to try and get an early foothold to prevent him from moving down onto my positions. And my ally did the virtual same, but my enemy uh, does the most smartest of, th smartest of things, and I did the most stupidest of things in this fight. <laughs> So you can see that I'm moving up my chasseurs to this area here and uh, I'm going to just basically form them into a line uh, so that I can shoot at them as they're trying to hide in the trees. Um, it will be an interesting fight. Um, yeah, so my ally, he doesn't really play much part of this video until later in the game. That is in part 2 if you wish to check that out of my ally just slaughtering some Ottoman Empire. Um, but part 1 is focused mainly around my fight. and. <laughs> it is pretty intense for a while. Uh, half the time I didn't even think I was going to win or not. Um, well, this was the part where I was talking to my opponent, well, not my opponent, sorry, my ally, about tactics. And uh, he said for me to just hold the hill, no matter what. So I see this as an opportunity, and you can see the positions that I'm trying to move my men to now. I've put my general on my right flank, uh, so I can inspire my right flank, uh, but my center is going to be on the hill and it has a lot more let's just say firepower to it um, with lancers they get a charge bonus otherwise they're very bad units and this time I can actually tell you that I forget my lancers <laughs> I just don't use them they're just meat shields for me in this game oops and this was uh, done about three four months ago now so it can actually show that um, I was such a noob back then, but now I'm far much better. I'm winning most of my games. I love the map, A Coastal Valley. It's uh, got a lot of flanking positions, and it's got a lot of high ridges. So here you can see that um, I'm actually focusing on my ally at the moment, and I forget about my cavalry. And you can see that it's just moving up, credit rifles, um, some mounted cavalry. And he's just going to crash straight into him. He doesn't seem to care what happens from it. I uh, just go ahead and get myself slaughtered because of it. And he actually tells me at um, this point that I've got cavalry about to hit me. And I'm like, oh shoot. <laughs> but it was alright because you'll see later on the video what happens. And it was kind of interesting. And here you can see the uh, chasseurs that I've getting fired upon by grenadiers. I think that they're Baelic grenadiers. Are they the right ones? Yeah. Um, and the chasseurs, they just uh, stand there for a minute or two and then just say, Ooh, well, I'm getting shot. Let's return fire. Um, so, yeah, things are going well so far. Um, you can see a lot of dying units. 
You can just see that they've got like cool little fezzes on their heads as well. But why red and blue? Why do they have to have red and blue? Come on, huh? Uh, but either way, you can see on the map here that it is now a carnage fight here. Um, I noticed that uh, my cavalry were getting slaughtered. Um, I noticed that I had to put my units into a square. He's opening fire on me with his howitzers. I don't actually return fire because I've actually forgotten of my howitzers. Um, here you can see the Polish Legion just uh, standing there looking pretty with their pathetic uniforms. Um, and <laughs> look at that camel in a box. <laughs> just a funny shot of a random camel in a box. And it was alright for that. And since they march, I think that they are Delhi horsemen with Bailey Jacinaries. I don't know, you're gonna have to let me know on that one. Um, that's my second unit of Lego Lancers routed, but the Ottoman uh, melee men and the Ottoman cavalry are weaker. And it gets annoying after a while. Um,. But either way, you can see that on my right flank in the far distance, I've got about eight units against his five, so I've outnumbered him there. But he actually almost slaughters me here, because I've only got three units of Volticures and two uh, legions of Polish Legion remaining. And he does uh, do a considerable amount of damage. Wait, sorry, I have three units. I'm going to have to edit that out, sorry. If I don't edit it out, then just ignore my random talking. Um, but either way, uh, you can just see flying mortars coming from, I think, three of his um, howitzer pieces. And that does actually do a considerable amount of damage to my forces, and I'm unable to take them out. But here you can just see that he's now cav charging a direct square, which I think is completely stupidity of him. And it does uh, not really do him a world of good, so you can see that I have to pull back my Volta Gears. Um, so anyway, this is coming to the end of part one of the commentary. Please uh, look into my YouTube channel or look in the video response for part two. Okay, people on YouTube, adios amigos.